Okay, so we have a system, we have our, our cancer, which is mostly composed of sensitive cells in black. So these cells respond well to treatment. But we know that there is an, a small unobservable population of resistant cells at the beginning of my treatment. As treatment goes along, what we see is that we see the whole population shrinking. So indeed the sensitive cells die. And at the same time though, the resistant cells expand because they are not they are not susceptible to treatment. And then at some point, what we see in radiological imaging, what clinicians see, is that the tumor stops responding and it starts growing back. And what you can see here is that at some point, the, tumor, the majority of the tumor is then composed of resistant cells, whereas the sensitive population is actually small and, and dying off because of treatment. Now, how do we model this process? And I'll try to make it in very simple terms here. Well, we write an equation. So we ask the question, okay, how does the tumor change over time? The, the population of cells changes over time. So the population of cells is N. We have N total cells. Okay, and this N, this number changes over time. So it depends on time. Okay. Well, this total population depends on the dynamics of these two groups of cells. Okay. We have in black the sensitive cells, which they start with a certain proportion N of S. These are the majority. This could be 99%, for example, of 99.9%. And then this proportion changes over time according to, believe me, it's an exponential factor of e to the power of minus lambda st. What does this mean? Well, <laughs> well, this means that the original proportion of the population is actually shrinking. And you know it's shrinking because this is a negative sign. And it's shrinking at this speed, lambda s. And lambda s is very important, okay? So the speed of which is shrinking, and that depends on time. The more time goes on, the, the smaller the population uh, becomes. But then there is a second factor, the other population, which are the sensitive cells, which are originally a proportion NR, which is much smaller than this. And these guys are actually growing through treatment. So their sign is positive, lambda R, T is actually a positive sign. So these guys are actually expanding. Now, if you draw the dynamics and you ask the question, okay, if I put time here and I put proportion of cancer cells here, what you have is that the sensitive population, which originally is dominant, decays exponentially, so it, it disappears. And at the same time, the resistant population, which is almost undetectable at the beginning, grows and becomes dominant. Okay. This models this process over here. We can go back to the data now and ask the question, does this model predict anything we see in the clinic?